It's Wednesday, Klaus here. It's time for another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Hello, Klaus here. It's Wednesday and time for another basic DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this episode, we are going to have a little look into the color page and also a look at the different notes, or at least at some of them. So let's jump right into the color page. Here in the color page, we have this clip from a short film I did a while back. And here is my old friend Thomas, um, and he's playing a priest. And I thought we'll just use this little clip here to do some different shots. So first up, this is the color page in DaVinci Resolve 17. It's filled with features and different things you can do. And we're definitely not going to go through all of them because then this Wednesday tutorial will be more than a week. So let's just get right to it. So first off, I have different options I can choose here. If this was a uh, camera roll clip, I could change all my settings right here. If I had used a color checker, I could actually check in the colors right here and match those up, uh, but I didn't do that. Here we have our primary wheels where we can change the color and hue and saturation and all of these good things. And that we are going to get right into in a bit. Right here, we have the HDR functions, which are kind of similar to the wheels, but just in HDR, and we're not going to go into that at all today. And then, of course, we could just uh, use the RGB mixer and mix the different colors and stuff like that. And then if we want to, for instance, clean up our footage, we can use the noise reduction, which is right here. And that is only available in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And it is a very, very nice feature. And it's also worth the money of the 300 bucks for the studio version, in my opinion. Over here, we have, of course, curves. We have also a color warper, which is a new thing in DaVinci Resolve 17. We have a qualifier and we have all our windows where we can do different masks. Then we also have a tracking. And here we have the magic mask, which is also kind of cool again available in DaVinci Resolve 17. Here we can do different things like blur, and here we have the gear where we can dial in our grate. For instance, if we gave our grate a, a way to saturate it look, we could go in here and dial out the output of that. Uh, pretty easy. Here we have uh, sizing options where we can size our footage. And um, here we have some 3D options, which I'm not using. If we go over here, we have our keyframes. Here we have our scope. If we click here, we can open up our scopes and here we have our selected scopes. So we can have a look and see if everything is just the way we want it. We're just going to close that down. Up here, we have a light box. That's just going to show us our clips in a different way. I don't use that very often. Here we have our open effects and our notes, which are right here. We can toggle that on and off. And also we can change the clip if we don't want to have a clip right here, want to save some space exactly, we also have a timeline where we can click and we have our timeline right here. For one clip, that's a bit overkill, so we're going to toggle that off. And then of course we have a media pool and a gallery and our LUTs. But that's just the basic overview of all of the different things inside of the color page. But let's get to the coloring. Let's talk about notes. So notes is the way you are coloring stuff. So for instance, I have one note here and um, I could do some kind of correction in this note. Let's uh, take down the, the lift here and um, let's go to the gamma and lift that up a bit. And then we can go to the gain and we can lift that up. Something like that. So let's say that is like, like our first correction. We want to do another correction. We can then right click over here at the grid here, and we can go down to add notes. Here we have a corrector, a parallel note, a layer mixer, a key mixer, and a splitter and a combiner. We're not going to talk about all of those notes because those are a little bit more complicated, but what we are going to do is we're going to push Alt S and we're going to add in a new serial note. So the basic idea of notes, of course, is that we're going to make a correction in the first note right here. Then that correction is going to be transferred to the new note right here, and we can do a correction here. So for instance, 
In this node we are going to take the temperature and we're going to bump that towards blue so it's going to be a little more cold. We can then go in and play around with the tint. And as you see, we are playing around with the color in the tint. And we can have a look at our, our scopes over here and see how the colors are. Then we could do something with the contrast. Maybe we're going to make a very contrasty image. We're going to bump up the contrast. We also have here a color boost. And what that is doing, it's boosting certain colors. So if we boost this all the way up, this is going to look like terrible. So don't do that. But give it a little bit. Also a little too much. And also we have some saturation here. We can bump up saturation. Something like that. So if you want to take a look at what we did already, we can just toggle on and off here. So we went from this flat image to this, which is maybe what we want. And then we could do like a other node, Alt S. And then we could go into, let's say, into the RGB mixer. And we could, for instance, take the blue output and take that out of the image. If we wanted to have this very strange yellow picture, if we've done something we don't like, we can just all the time reset things just by clicking right here. So let's uh, play around with the red, green, and blue channels. Adding in a little bit, taking out some. Maybe something like that. Of course, if you have one certain note selected, you can also push Control D to deselect that note. So you can actually push Control D and you can see what that note actually did. So before I did my changes in the RGB mixer, this was the look I had, and then I did the changes, and I got this. So this is like a basic thing of notes, combining notes together to make your final image. So for this little round trip in the color page, that's all for now, but I do hope you found this video useful, and if you did, please hit that subscriber button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it would help them out, and if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.